Hey folks, welcome back to the channel. Of course, the minute I start recording, my neighbor down the street puts on his, his leaf blower. Look how dirty this car is. This is Maven. I'll uh, show you how dirty she is. As you can see, uh, you know, it was a stretch here in uh, Ontario that was great weather. For about four or five days, didn't have to wash the car. I uh, just had to touch up and stuff like that. And then it rained once or twice. And now look how dirty it is. And I haven't washed it in the last couple of days. But I'm going to wash it today because we're going out to a function where I want a nice clean car. So as you can see, water spots, uh, some debris, some bugs and guts down here. I don't know if that if camera's picking it up, if it's making it out. Anyways, even down here, you can see more that it is uh, pretty dirty. Reason I'm showing you guys this is because let's come over here to the garage uh, You guys have probably heard about this and I'm not gonna go through the step-by-step -step instructions on how to do it But basically I just want to say this stuff uh, Sounds stupid to say but I'm not I don't want to say it's changed my life So I won't say that but it's made a big huge difference in my uh, car washing Experience anyways, it's called uh, no rinse by a company called optimum polymer technologies OPT um, it's short form where you hear on online and stuff like that. It's called ONR. That's another name for it. Optical no rinse. This stuff is awesome. Like I said, I don't want to go into huge details of uh, how to go about doing it and stuff like that. Uh, there's tons of videos online that will show you how to actually do it. But what I will tell you, just in a nutshell, this big bottle here, you really only have to use one ounce, and one ounce is a capful of this, to two gallons of water. So here's a pail here. This is what I use uh, when I wash the car. This is the wash. This is the two gallon mark right there. And uh, I haven't filled it up yet, but this is my rinse bucket because I use the two bucket method. Uh, two bucket method, if you're not familiar with that, Google that and you'll see what two bucket me method is. So anyways, two gallons of water is in here. I'm going to add a cap full of this, which is one ounce. Uh, then I have a spray bottle. Let me get the spray bottle. Okay, here's a spray bottle right here. So you fill out of the two gallons, fill up the, the spray bottle, and then you just spray it down. Like I said, I'm not gonna show you how to do it, but I just wanna show you the heat before, and then after I do it, it'll take like half an hour or something, I'll maybe do a quick time lapse or something, and you will see the after, and it'll blow your mind. It's basically, in a nutshell, like I said, I didn't get into detail with this, but basically, it's a wash and shine for a, like a no water. Well, you're still using water, but it's like a no wash. I guess you're still washing it. it it's hard to explain, but basically you're not using a hose and you're not wetting it down and drying it and everything. You are still wa <laughs> that even sounds not correct because you are still wetting it, but you're not you're not using a hose. I think that's maybe that's the best way to describe it is uh and if you you familiar with this and I'm uh, butchering this and you guys want to let me know what's the correct terminology, leave a comment below. But basically, it's almost like a no hose um, wash for your car, like. And they, they tie it on the bottle here. It's like for places that uh, have water restrictions or uh, you're in a place where it's hard to get a hose hooked up to your car and stuff like that. Anyways, like I said, I don't want to get into the huge details, but uh, something to do with little polymers and little things that attach themselves to the, uh, when you spray it on, it attaches yourself, itself to the um, little dirt debris and stuff like that. And it lifts it off and it doesn't scratch your car. <laughs> Okay, folks, so there you have it. It is all clean. It took me about 20 minutes. And as you saw, you just spray it on, let it sit for five minutes, and then uh, wash it off with the rag, and then dry it off. And as you can see, very little water, two gallons of water, not even. 
Uh, I still got to do the rims. The tires and rims you still got to do manually. This stuff, as far as I know, this stuff doesn't work for that. And uh, it came out great. Now, the car was a little dirty, so what I would normally, I just did this for the video, but what I would normally do is just wash it when it's this dirty. And uh, this O&R is more for like in-between washes and stuff like that. So that's what I would recommend it for. And folks, if you think the two bucket method doesn't work, check this out. Remember, this was the rinse here, and this was the wash. Look at that. That's the, the O&R's got a little tinge of blue to it. But then look at this. This is the rinse. This is why you use the two, bu two bucket method. It works great. You I can barely even see my hand if it's just like two inches down because it's so uh, dirty. But this side, this side is clean. I can see my hand all the way down to the bottom. So that's it folks, that is it. That's uh, ONR, Optical No Rinse. Uh, this is not a paid advertisement. Uh, they didn't send me this for free. I actually bought the bottle myself on Amazon. You can get it anywhere from the store, anywhere online, or uh, brick and mortar stores even, but I got it on Amazon. Where, who else gets anything anywhere else? Please, please. Amazon's where it's at. So, Optical No Rinse, highly suggested. If you like keeping your car clean in between washes and stuff like that, a great idea. And that's all I got for you today, folks. Thanks for watching. Uh, if you like what you saw and you want to see more Tesla stuff, don't forget to uh, subscribe and hit that little bell. It'll notify you when I put out a new video. And uh, we'll catch you on the next one. Take care.